In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the materials price variance. So let's say we have a company called the Chocolate Factory and they manufacture chocolate bars. And so they've got some standards that have been set by management. They believe that they should pay $10 per pound when they're acquiring chocolate and that they should use 0.05 pounds to make one chocolate bar. Okay, so those are the standards that have been set by the company. In terms of the actual operating results for the period, the company paid $48,000 to acquire 4,000 pounds of chocolate, and then let's just say they used 100% of that chocolate, all 4,000 pounds, in order to make 60,000 chocolate bars. Now, we don't need all this information to calculate the price variance. Some of it we're gonna use to calculate the quantity variance, which we'll do in the next video, but let's just focus on the price. I like to set it up like this. Whenever I do variance analysis, I have AQ times AP, which is the actual quantity times the actual price, Okay, I set that up on the left, and in the middle I've got the actual quantity times the standard price. So if we take the difference of these two amounts, that is going to be our price variance. So what's our actual quantity here? Well, we, we bought 4,000 pounds of chocolate. Okay, so that's going to be our quantity. We'll put here 4,000. And then what is the price we paid per pound? Well, it actually doesn't tell you that here, but you can figure it out. You just take 48,000 divided by 4,000 pounds. So that's $12 a pound, okay? And, or you could just put the 48,000 here. I'm gonna put them both so you can see. So this is saying that we bought 4,000 pounds of chocolate at $12 a pound and paid $48,000 total. Okay, so let's hold on to that information for right now. Now we'll come over to the middle. The actual quantity, again, is gonna be 4,000. It's gonna be the same thing, 4,000. But now we multiply it by the standard price. So what is the standard price that we should be paying for a pound of chocolate? Well, $10. $10. Remember, that was set by management. Management said, hey, we think this is a good price. This is what we should be paying for the chocolate. So we're going to put 10 right here. Here's the $10. And so that's going to come to $40,000 if we multiply the 4,000 by the 10. Okay, all I'm doing is just multiplication there. And then, so if we compare that to the 48,000 and the 40,000, there's a difference of $8,000. It's so a difference of $8,000. That's just the $48,000 minus the $40,000. Now, think about this. We actually paid $12 per pound when, in fact, our standard of what management thought was $10 per pound. Okay, So we paid more than what we believe the standard should be. So we will call that an unfavorable price variance. So I'm going to put a little U here. This is an unfavorable variance of $8,000, unfavorable price variance. So that might indicate maybe we should go and talk to the purchasing manager and say, hey, why was it that we ended up paying a lot more than what we believe was our standard rate to acquire this chocolate? 